What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Bacalode here in Negros Island. We're gonna show you all around. Let's do it. Coming to you from Negros. We're here at SM Mall. It's a very modern mall. Uh, I'm gonna show you all around Bacalode here. We've got SM City over there. We've got SM uh, Mall here. Let me just show you around. This mall is attached to the Radisson Hotel, which is where I'm staying. Hello, sir. Hi, sir. Very big modern mall. I'm not going to spend too much time in this mall. Once you've seen one big modern mall in the Philippines, you've seen them all. But just give you an idea of this indoor megatropolis they got here. Food courts up here. It is a huge mall. It wraps around this way. I'm not going to show you all around here. But let's go around Bacalod uh, here in Negros Island. Just showing you the modern side of it before we dabble in some of the uh, historical stuff. So I've got a tour, it's 350 pesos per hour, and we're gonna see what Bacalod has in store for us. Thank you, sir. Let's see, where's my driver here? Already pre-arranged. So these are considered the ruins. Beautiful property here. It's a paradise. Tropical paradise here. All right, so this is the ruins. We're going inside the mansion here. And just to give you some history about the ruins here, it was a Filipino man who married a Portuguese uh, woman from Macau. She was Portuguese Chinese. And uh, they had 10 kids. And on the 11th kid, the woman, Maria, she actually uh, died while giving birth to the 11th kid and the 11th kid also passed on and as a dedication to her Mariano which was the Filipino man he built this mansion here that you see along with the father who is a Portuguese man from Macau to honor her that's why you see M's on each side of the building right here See these M's? This is Mariano and Maria. You can see right there. Anyway, the reason it is in the condition that it is in now is because during World War II, they were instructed to burn anything that could be used as an outpost by the Japanese. So. This mansion, although it wasn't bombed, because most of the other mansions in the area were bombed because the Japanese were making garrisons out of any structure they could find, they burned it so that the Japanese wouldn't use it. So it actually, in a way, protected and preserved the structure. But. They burned it, and that's the skeleton, and to this day, it's considered a historical landmark. Well, I stopped to get some tacos here. The lunch, quick one. Snack, only took five minutes to bring out the tacos, so that's good. There's a big old balete tree right there. That's a beautiful tree. But yeah, it's very intricate. I mean, there's a lot of detail that went into building this. It was mostly built by Chinese laborers who came from Macau to build this. And it took them about three years to finish. All right, so now we've made it into old Bacalod city area. And we're in the market here. What is this? Fish? Some unique fish. Hello. Everyone seems to be selling some sort of fish. They have a market here. Hello, 
ma'am. Hi. Pizza, Greenwich Pizza. Well, we're just walking around, seeing what's going on out here. I'm headed over to some ruins later and a cathedral. I've seen one expat so far. For those of you wondering if you'll be uh, the only one here. That's a heck of a jeepney. The other day I ate so much fruit, it was so good. I had lanzones and uh, fresh mango. Mango comes from here, some of the sweetest mango you'll ever eat. Had some mango steen as well. These are lanzones. Mango steen. So this is the old city hall. Anyway, uh, you can see this is basically the old area. It's quite bustling and uh, lots of vibrance going on. But now we'll go do some more exploring on the other side and keep this tour moving. A shoe repairman. Look at him. Wow, he's repairing shoes. That's cool. Still a trade that's in good use. <laughs> smells here are unique. It's like a mix of like five or six different smells. A lot of it's fishy. Smell very strong undertone of fish. What kind of fish? Tengit. Tengit. It's like a sardine? No. No. So that explains the fish smell. All of this fish. Here's the market. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Bacalod. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> the local. The heart of the Filipino. Hello, sir. What else we got in here? Wow. Market. Very Spanish style market. See a lot of this stuff in uh, Latin America. Hello, sir. Lots of eggs, organic. Lots of lanzones, fruit. Hello.
Where's my taxi driver? Hopefully he doesn't think that I've uh, left him. Bells. Whoever goes should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord and speak to God. That's a big people, cathedral. The Lord is the All right. The Lord goes down. This is all the people. The Lord is the So this is the city square across the road from the cathedral here. Punta Tete. What's the name here? Punta Tete will go to the south of Negros. Occidental or Negros Oriental? South. Uh, Dumaguete. Oh, yeah. But the pure idea is Chapi La Sal. Go to the terminal city. Oh, terminal city. Oh. Uh, Central Market. Okay. Punta Tete, okay. So. Bon boy. Bon boy and boy boy. Punta Tete. If you need to go to Dumaguete, you have to go to the central terminal. So. So here we are. Buckload. What is this guy selling? What is this? What is this, sir? So buckload. It's quite a nice park. Central Park area. Old Spanish park. Some areas just get better with time, right? So we're here at Compass Tuan. It's like an highland campout resort area. We've got the big chicken up here. As you're coming up here, you'll see lots of chicken farms. We've got what appears to be some zip lines, some water slides. It's actually a lot cooler up here in terms of the weather because you're up here in the uh, highlands. Picnic tables.
Oh yeah, I do. Almost seems like these are like cabanas, maybe? Cabins? Hotel rooms? I don't know. Are these hotel rooms? Hobbit houses or what? Yeah, these are all little hobbit houses here. Yeah, so check this out. We got Bonita Hut. It's one room. Got these teepees over here. Looks like they got different size teepees too. Who is this guy? American Indian? Baguana. Akawahu. Look at these uh, huts here. Got some teepees. These are all hotels you can stay at. Bungalows. Up here in the highlands. It's like some American Indian style. And then over here they have something that looks like Spa, massage there. Some hobbit houses. There's a good look at the rooster there. I got a giant gorilla around here somewhere. Let's see what else they got over here. Oh man. Dinosaur. What an interesting place.
Looks like we got the main lodge right there. Some sort of sky bridge tower. Guinness Book of World Record, the largest chicken in the world. Yep. Certified tallest and largest rooster in the world, right here. In the highlands of Negros Island. World record right there. What do we have going on up here? Sharkland. Bubble baths. No, no, Bubble party. All right, got a foam bath party. All right, so here we are at Banted Ranch. Gonna do some uh, horseback riding up here. See what they got going on. And here at the ranch, they've also got a little swimming pool. Just checking out these ranches here, up on the mountains. Everything reminds me very much of Spanish haciendas. Also guys, if you're coming to Negros Island or Bacalod and you would like a taxi driver, this is my driver Lorvi. He's been showing me all around and he speaks fluent English. Hey guys, um, you just uh, give me a call or uh, I wanna just uh, ride you here. Yeah, and I'll put his Instagram down below so you can contact him, ask him for rides or see how much it'll cost to do anything on the island of Negros starting in Bacalod. All right, so they got Plenty of lake activities you can do here. Take a boat around on the lagoon. Picnic tables. Hey guys, uh, let's eat. Uh, we're here in Bag Bantog Ranch. So we eat a uh, uh, chicken in the sun and rice and also a ginisa bihon. Ah, pancit. Bihon ginisa. It's a pancit. Yeah, so this is the local cuisine here in Negros. Well, the taxi driver recommended I come over here to the Bacalo Lagoon. So, just to give you a little bit of data or information about Bacalo, it's actually bigger than Iloilo. The population is around 600,000 people. So it's quite a big city, bigger than I thought. Uh, there's two parts to Negros Island. There's Negros Occidental, which is where we're at now. Uh, this is the capital of that province, Negros Occidental. If you go down to Dumaguete, that's Negros Oriental. But yeah, this is the lagoon, and here is the actual uh, capital of the province of Negros Occidental.